Hello everybody. It is October 4th, 2020 and I'm out at the test tank today. Uh, I'm going to try to make a video on adjusting or dialing in a carburetor with two adjustable fuel circuits, high speed and low speed adjustable needles. Uh, I just finished this motor up and I thought this would be a good time to try this. Um, I'll make a separate video on the motor but this is just on how to after a rebuild, um, dial in the carburetor. Uh, from initial settings to uh, getting it dialed in and running properly. So, uh, this carburetor I finished rebuilding last night and it's got new, uh, new components in it, new float, new uh, valve and seat, float valve, uh, needle and seat, and new packing, uh, new gasket, uh, the whole works. So, the initial settings on these that I like to use are one full turn out on the high speed, which is the, the bottom one, and one and a half on the low speed. Both of those are typically on the rich side, um, especially on the low speed, but the low speed is a lot finer adjustment, so uh, I, I just go one and a half on that one. Typically one and one is okay, but I like to go one and a half. Anyway. Um, this is a cold start. This is the first start since the rebuild um, So we're gonna give it a shot here, and we'll go from there All right, everything's primed up So, this is what I mean by one turn and one and a half turns. That's just lightly seated, right there. We take it all the way around one time. This one, this one you gotta be really careful with. That's lightly seated. One turn. And a half. Now, some of these have a face plate and have linkages and so forth on them, and that though they don't allow you to make all the, the turns like you need to, you have to disconnect all that stuff to start with. And so you just turn in the needles. This one has stops on the face plate. The face plate's not on it, so I can freely turn them around as I need to. So we'll start out with one turn, one and a half, choke on, prime, throttle up. wheel on it so I can run it up in the tank and not get fuel everywhere. Now it's starting to warm up and it's getting rich. Put it in gear and then we're going to throttle it all the way up and start leaning it out. a little warmer you really should do this after it's at full temperature 
uh, to adjust the low speed, but I'll get it close enough. It'll show you what I'm trying to do. I'll start to idle it down as slow as I can while it'll still run steady. And then we'll start to lean this one out. Just starting to pick up a little. Now it's starting to smooth out. Now it was too far, it's sneezing. It's still cold. Pushing it up a little bit. That's where it's going to idle right now. When it gets up to full temperature, you'll be able to keep slowing down the throttle and keep leaning that out until you find the sweet spot the same way we did with the, with the high speed. It'll pick up, it'll smooth out, and then it'll start to sneeze. And you got to find the spot right in between there, and that's where you want to leave it set. Once you got them set, loosen up these center screws and set your dial back to the center. That way you can adjust rich or lean from where you have it dialed in in the sweet spot to the conditions. As it warms up it needs a little bit more on the low speed. Now I'm going to wind it up one more time to make sure everything's still good. Now that we're getting a little more warm. speed just a little bit to get it back so that means that then I had to richen up the low and there she's doing pretty well it's like I said it's kind of cool out so when it in warm summer temperatures it'll take some more adjustment uh, but for now until I can get it out on the boat in, in good weather and get it dialed in that's as good as I can get it in the tank in these conditions so that's how that works Hopefully that helps somebody. Till next time, thanks for watching. Keep your prop out of the mud.